Children, I have been waiting for you all to come. I have already thought about the story to tell you today. Yay! Another Bible story. So, what is the story about? The story is about four fishermen and Jesus. But you children have to answer one question, which I will ask you at the end of the story. Yes, and we will of course answer your question. Great. Then let us start with the story. Well, Today's story is about the four special fishermen. Long time ago, Jesus needed his friends to help him to spread God's message. As he walked down by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two fishermen put their nets in the water to catch fish. They were brothers and the names were Simon and Andrew. Jesus called out to them and they came to the shore. Jesus said, Follow me. And I will make you special fishermen of people. The two men left their nets at once and joined him. They had understood that Jesus was the promised savior. As he went along, Jesus came across another two brothers, James and John. They were sitting in a fishing boat. They were repairing their fishing nets with help from their father, Zebedee. When Jesus called out, they left their nets and their father and joined Jesus. They too knew that Jesus was sent by God. Jesus chose these people because they were loyal to God and not because they were talented or gifted. He gave them new names later. Simon was named Peter, which meant rock. John and James were called sons of thunder because they were fiery young men. In place of catching fish, these people would get many others to join the kingdom of God. They stayed close to Jesus, learned from him, and helped him as he went around the world teaching and healing people. Oh, I would drop everything and follow Jesus too. Wow, that was a wonderful story. Thank you, Lily. Oh, you are most welcome, children. Now, my question for today is, what was the name of the lake along which Jesus walked? I know this answer. I will tell. Go on. Was it Lake Galilee? Of course it was Lake Galilee. Yes. Very good, Gumbo. Bye, children. Bye, Holy. Welcome to Holy Tales. I guess you are all here to listen to another parable from the Bible. You are correct. <laughs> Have you decided which parable you're going to tell us today? Today, I am going to tell you the story about the rich man and Lazarus. Hmm, sounds interesting. Go on with the story, Holy. Can't wait. Woohoo! Okay, okay. Once, there lived a rich man who wore fine purple colored clothes. In those times, purple was the most expensive dye and therefore seen mostly on nobles, rich people, royalty and sometimes on high-level officials. Every day, this rich man would eat splendid meals wearing his purple robe. He never had to worry about anything in life. He thought everything could be bought with money and he had everything coming to him very easily. Outside the rich man's house lived a beggar. His name was Lazarus. He was hungry and wore torn clothes. He had sores all over his body. He would come there every day, hoping to find some leftover food from the rich man. But the rich man ignored him and never cared or offered him food. One night, Lazarus died. That same night, the rich man died too. The angels from heaven took Lazarus to Abraham's side of the heaven, while the rich man's eternal resting place was in hell. When the rich man saw Lazarus on Abraham's side of heaven, he was confused. 
He did not understand what he did in his lifetime to receive such suffering and pain after death. He pleaded to Abraham, Let Lazarus come down and cool me off by dipping his finger in cool water and putting it on my tongue. I want to be relieved of all this pain that I am going through. Abraham spoke to the rich man. During your lifetime, you received many good things while on the other hand, Lazarus received nothing but suffering. This was because of no fault of his, but he did. And you did nothing to help him out. Also, there's too much distance between Lazarus and you. It is impossible for Lazarus to help you in any way. The rich man cried and begged. Please, please, please help me. Where were you when you could have helped Lazarus? Did you ever think of helping him when he sat outside your house every day, waiting for you to give him some food? And now, after death, Lazarus deserves all the comfort and love he was ignored of in his life. The rich man thought over all the things Abraham told him. So, he went back to Abraham and said, Please, can you send back Lazarus to my five brothers so that he can go warn them to change their lives? Abraham was happy that the rich man was finally being unselfish and thinking about others over himself. But he also knew that sending back Lazarus would not help his brothers in any way. So he said to the rich man, You think your brothers would believe Lazarus? even if he went back from the dead and told them? They are not willing to listen to Moses and the prophets. So why do you think they would listen to a simple man like Lazarus? The rich man understood what Abraham was trying to say. He had no way of redeeming himself or help his brothers who were living a selfish life just as he had. So what did Jesus try to tell through this story, Holy? Freckles, you tell me. Um, I think what Jesus was trying... I know, I know. Jesus was trying to show people that like the rich man's brothers, even the people would mock God's messenger, Jesus himself. And even if he died and returned, they would still not believe Moses and the prophets. Well done, Tabby! Come, Gumbo! Come, Freckles! It's story time! Let's go to Holy! Holy? Wake up! We've come to hear another story from the Bible! Wake up! Wake up! <sighs> yes, yes! Of course I will tell you a story! So, today's story is Jesus Talks with Nicodemus. Who's Nicodemus? We'll find that out soon enough. One night, a Jewish religious leader named Nicodemus came to visit Jesus to discuss some important things with him. He was a Pharisee. He did not want the other religious leaders to know that he was talking with Jesus. Nicodemus said, We have all seen miracles you do. We know that God is with you. Jesus said, I want you to know that you cannot enter God's kingdom unless you are born again. Nicodemus was confused. He asked, How is that possible? How can I go back into my mother's body and be born again. Jesus said, That's not what I mean. Humans can only give birth to other humans, but the Holy Spirit can give life from heaven. That's the kind of birth I'm talking about. Nicodemus was still confused. Jesus explained to him, God loved the world so much that he sent me the only Son of God to earth, so that the people who believe in him can be saved and have an eternal life. Those who really believe in him 
will not be judged in the future, but those who don't will be. The judgment will be based on the fact that the light of this world was right in front of them, and yet they did not have faith in it or believed it. They hate the light because they want to live in eternal darkness and commit the sins that are a part of their life. Those who want to choose the path of righteousness come into the path of light and do what God wants them to do. Nicodemus understood what Jesus was trying to say. That was a nice story. I liked it. So, what's the question for today, Holy? Today's question is, what were Jewish religious leaders called? Pharisees. Am I right? Yes, Gumbo. You are. Hi, children. Hello, Holy. Don't you kids want to hear another story from the Bible? But we have to answer a question at the end of the story, which we will. Come on, Holy. Okay. Today I will tell you a story about a man called Zacchaeus and Jesus. Long ago, in the town Jericho, there lived a man called Zacchaeus. He was a tax collector and that is why most of the people did not like him. The tax collectors worked for the Romans and made a lot of money. One day, Jesus was passing through the town of Jericho on his way to Jerusalem. Now, Zacchaeus had heard a lot about the prophet and was quite eager to see him. However, the huge crowd that often was with Jesus made it hard to do so. So, Zacchaeus decided to climb a tall tree to get a better view. As Jesus was passing by that tree, he saw Zacchaeus sitting on it. He said to him, Zacchaeus, come down. Today I would like to visit your house. Zacchaeus was very happy. As he was getting down from the tree and running towards his house, he heard people complaining. They were saying that it was not right for God's son to visit a sinful tax collector. Hearing this, Zacchaeus said to Jesus, Lord, I will give half of my riches to the poor. I will pay back all those who I have cheated in the past. Pleased by this, Jesus told the grumbling crowd that salvation has come to Zacchaeus finally. It's never too late to be good. Wow, that was such an awesome story. Thank you, Holy, for telling us such a wonderful story today. So, what is today's question? What was the name of the tax collector who lived in Jericho and worked for the Romans? His name was Zacchaeus! Yay! I can say it in one shot! Well done, Freckles! Uh, I am sleepy! Bye, Holy! To watch more videos, please subscribe! ...plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got